Welcome everyone to WWE Main Event. This is November Week 3. And we're kicking things off with a huge tag team matchup. As the United Kingdom makes their way to the ring, William Regal and Bad News Barrett, these two men will be in the Elimination Chamber for the European Championship at Survivor Series. Barrett, of course, from Preston, England. And he would love to be the first person to win the European Championship upon its return. But so would William Regal, who's a native of Blackpool, England, and one of the most famous European champions in WWE history. And their opponents here tonight are the Anarchist. Fit Finley and uh, the Celtic Warrior Sheamus. And these two men will also be inside the Elimination Chamber. As will uh, Antonio Cesaro and Rusev. And we will crown the first European champion in many years. Of course, the title was retired in 2002 when it was unified. But now, it's making a return. And we'll see it in the Chamber at Survivor Series. And there's the bells. We start off with uh, two of the three kings of the ring in this match. Of course, uh, Bad News Barrett, the newest king of the ring. Uh, Sheamus, a former 2010 king of the ring. And William Regal, I believe, is the 2008 king of the ring. So we got a lot of king of the rings in this matchup. Barrett lands the knee to Sheamus. He's got him in position. Oh, vicious sit down powerbomb. Shades of Batista. Of course, these teams are going to have to put their friendships aside when they step into the chamber for the European Championship. There'll be no friends inside the uh, solid steel of the chamber. As Barrett kicks Sheamus off, Sheamus tries to go for the tag, but uh, bad news uh, blocked him off. And Sheamus dropped right on his neck. All hail King Barrett. And the winds of change bring Sheamus down. Right into the cover early on here. And a kick out at two by Sheamus. Sheamus reverses Barrett and there's the tag he was looking for earlier. In comes Finley, the Belfast Brawler, one of the most vicious men in wrestling history. Barrett gets the reversal, hard shot, dazes Finley, but he comes right back with the kick to the knee. Oh, there's a nice variation of the leg sweep into the backbreaker. Oh, and there's classic Finley with a double stop right to the gut. And Finley now making quick tags. The Anarchists making quick tags here to, uh, tonight. They're a little more of a well-oiled machine than uh, the United Kingdom. And Sheamus got, oh man, Sheamus got buried up and did a standing power bomb. Very impactful to the spine of Wade Barrett. And Barrett is slow to get up. And look at that, Finley taken to the air with a drop kick. Puts Barrett right back down to the mat. And Finley's got him up. No, Barrett finds his way out. Drops Finley right on his face. Oh, and Barrett's got it. Barrett's got the bull hammer lined up, and Finley crumbles to the mat. But is he a little too close to the corner here? One, two. Oh wow, Finley survived the bull hammer. Perhaps it was too early for Barrett to unleash that. And Barrett now desperately needs the tag to William Regal. And here's an old rivalry renewed. 
Regal now got the front face lock. Huge Euro European uppercut knocks Finley back. Never ending strikes from Regal puts Finley in the corner, but he answers back with the boot. Finley with the punch right to the back of the head. And William Regal, using his decades in the wrestling business, remembers the abdominal stretch, slaps it on Finley, but Finley still too tough, hip tosses his way out of it. Of all the men in this match, uh, Regal is the only man to have ever been the European champion out of these four, uh, despite the fact that Finley did cross over uh, to WWE, but it wasn't until long after the uh, WCW had been put away and long after the European Championship had been put away too. So Regal will be the only man in this match with European Championship experience. But it's coming back for a new generation, and you gotta believe Sheamus and Wade Barrett, along with uh, Rusev, gotta be the top contenders for that match. Although Cesaro is a dark horse, but wait a minute. Oh, the Blarney Stone pile driver by Finley. Will that be enough? He's awful close to the European Kingdom corner. And pardon me, the United Kingdom's corner, and uh, Regal is there to break it up. And look at this, Regal gets Finley out of their corner. Goes back to the outside, can Barrett make the tag? Oh, he tries to stop the tag, but thinks better of it and comes back. Back in comes Regal. We got R Regal on Sheamus now. And Sheamus hits the turnbuckles very hard. Regal, look at this. Uh, uh, Regal Plex. There it is. He holds it. Is he in the ropes? No. Oh, but he, I think he eventually did get into the ropes. Looked like they might have been a little too close, but it's uh, hard to tell from this camera angle. Right hand by Regal. Sheamus grabs him, though. And a hard power bomb for Regal as well. Back in comes Finley. Oh, and Regal absolutely runs through Finley with that shoulder block. And more right hands. That, uh, William Regal absolutely in the mood to brawl here this evening. And there's a nasty knee to the temple. Finley's in rough shape now. Whoa, and Regal tries to think of some running offense, but gets kneed very, very hard in the stomach. Sent him flipping right off of it. And there's a brutal shot from Regal. But it's way, way too deep in the corner. Oh, and there's a hard head and arm suplex by Regal. Dropping Sheamus right on his neck again. And here he goes. This time he's got it locked and away from the ropes. He's got it to cover. One, two, three. And Finley too slow. He thought Sheamus was going to kick out. And the United Kingdom picks up the victory here on main event. Let's take a look at the highlights. There is the brutal winds of change. Might have been the first step to uh, the back and neck damage to Sheamus. There's the bull hammer destroyed Finley. Or so we thought. But he had that ring awareness and the toughness to kick out it too. More classic Finley with the rolling senton off the shoulders. Put a hurting on William Regal's midsection. But Regal too tough found his way out of it. But there we have the Regal Plex. And Finley, you can kind of tell, stop there. He thought Sheamus was going to kick out, but to no avail. The three came down, and the United Kingdom pick up a victory here tonight. This gives William Regal and Wade Barrett a certain amount of momentum going into the Elimination Chamber for the European title at Survivor Series. And could Regal, uh, one, you know, aside from Finley, the longest reigning veteran in this match, could he sneak a win just like tonight? Could somebody underestimate William Regal? And he could regain the European Championship at Survivor Series. And coming up next, we have the two men who destroyed Andre the Giant. The Big Show won a best of five series against Andre with help at the very end from Mark Henry. 
and then Mark Henry physically destroyed Andre the Giant in the best of three series with two uh, disturbing beatdowns on Andre, two straight victories, and we haven't seen Andre the Giant since. So now, these two men that contributed to the destruction of Andre the Giant will collide in their own best of three series in last man standing matches. What a collision this should be tonight on Main Event. And here comes the world's strongest man. I've never seen a beatdown on a legend quite like the beatdown Mark Henry put on Andre the Giant. Seven DDTs in their final matchup, and he still had to put him through a table, and he certainly did that with a gorilla press into a power slam. Mark Henry is absolutely on a roll, and I would not be surprised to see Mark Henry getting a WWE Championship shot in the very, very near future. He's already earned his way into a future number one contenders WWE title tournament. Uh, right now we have a Brock Lesnar, John Cena feud going on for the championship on Raw. And as soon as that situation is cleared up, or is about to be cleared up, uh, we will begin a uh, eight-man number one contenders tournament. Uh, already qualified for that tournament are The Undertaker, Kane, and Mark Henry. Undertaker and Kane qualified for that match by having a... Uh, dominant tag team title reign over on SmackDown. And now that they've uh, agreed to move on to singles action, we'll see we'll be seeing those two men collide very soon. But here we go, the first in the best of three last man standing series. And Mark Henry's off to an early start with a huge backbreaker. Seems to be uh, one of his favorites when starting off against opponents as large as himself. He was very quick to pick up Andre the Giant and do the very same backbreaker that we've seen on Big Show. And this looks like he's going to carry that momentum into this match. There's an already two backbreakers. And a death from above. A huge splash to the Big Show. Big Show himself is a humongous 450 pounds, and Mark Henry is also a gigantic 420 pounds. So both these men in the 400 pound range, pretty close in weight. Uh, there should be a path of destruction all the way around. And there's another splash. And as you can see, uh, as I explained before the match, Mark Henry is absolutely on fire as of late and is destroying the Big Show thus far in this match. There's a huge spine buster. Big Show now trying to get some relief, went for the Irish whip, but got reversed. And look at this. Look at this feat of strength. Gorilla pressing Mark Henry. My God! The power of the Big Show. And there's a gigantic left hand to the face of Mark Henry. And Mark Henry now avoids a headlock. It's the, it's the leg sweep. Mark Henry with ease body slams the big show. And the referee's count is up to seven. Wow. Look at the damage Mark Henry has done in such a short time. Already got a count of seven on the big show. And look at this, look at this, a fall away slam to the gigantic big show. If I was Brock Lesnar and John Cena, I'd be very concerned with the rise of Mark Henry. And Big Show makes it back up, and now he lifts Henry. He's got him up on his shoulder. My goodness, the strength. Oh my god, a building, shaking power slam from the Big Show. And he turns Henry over here. 
and he walks on the chest again. Big left to the body. And Big Show, uh, I don't know if he's going for a suplex or perhaps a DDT, but Mark Henry has uh, got it scouted to the fullest and keeps reversing it. Big Show should probably abandon that situation. And Mark Henry letting us know that's what he do. And Big Show makes it back up to his feet yet again. And look at this disturbing strength between these two men. Just both men just lifting another 400 pound man like it's just an everyday occurrence. And Mark Henry uses that cannonball-like head for a jawbreaker and then follows it up with a devastating spine buster. Mark Henry does not want Big Show to keep picking him up like this so you can really see the damage Mark Henry's trying to do to the back of the Big Show. And there's a backsplash. And that definitely slows the roll of Mark Henry. Mark Henry having a hard time with this after the splash. I'm very surprised. And Mark Henry makes it to his feet. Very surprised. And there's the reversal again. Mark Henry on his game here today. Only a count of two, though, before Big Show answered the count. And Big Show fights his way out of the corner. Massive body slam. And there's the headbutt, Shades of the Junkyard Dog. Five. Six. Seven. Eight, nine, ten, and it's all over. Mark Henry, path, Mark Henry's Hall of Pain continues with the big show right here tonight. Mark Henry goes up by one in this best of three last man standing series. As you see the referee, as you see the referee administer the final count of 10 here, Mark Henry continues his path of destruction. Two untouchable wins against Andre the Giant, and now he's already put the big show down in this first of three last man standing matches. Uh, last man standing matches. And we have something special tonight for our main event. I'm starting a best of five submission series between Chris Jericho and Daniel Bryan. And once again, the winner of this match will be entered into a future WWE Championship number one contender tournament. And here comes the yes man making his way down to the ring. He came up short in the six way Hell in the Cell number one contender match. And came up a little short when he cashed in his money in the bank against Dolph Ziggler and Batista at SummerSlam. But he's looking to get back on the horse, looking to get back on track in this submission series against Chris Jericho. Now Brian did an excellent job winning the best two out of three submission series against Brock Lesnar. Uh, so that gives him the advantage going into this, but... Uh, with both these men having signature submission moves, with Daniel Bryan's yes lock and Jericho's walls of Jericho, it could really go either way. We're going to have to see what happens uh, in this opening match of their series here tonight on Main Event. And what is this? Sting's tag team partner, Diamond Dallas Page, is still upset at Jericho from their last feud. 
and may have cost Jericho the first in their uh, in his series with Brian right here tonight. What an assault! And look at this—the referee also eats an elbow early on here. Everybody's taking shots. Jericho and Booker T, of course. Uh, had their problems with Sting and DDP over on SmackDown. And I thought they were over their problems, but apparently not, as DDP sends Jericho into the steel steps before the match even begins. Uh, and there's Daniel Bryan with a huge insiguri, and what a way to start off the match. A submission match already went into the steps, and now took that vicious insiguri by Bryan. And now Jericho's in a bad place here. Arm trapped in the chin lock, but he doesn't give up just yet. What a shocking turn of events right at the beginning of our main event as DDP sends Jericho head first into the steps. And now Daniel Bryan is not wasting any time. Locks the arm again. Locks the chin lock. Trying to get the early submission from Jericho here to put him up one in this best of five submission series. Oh, and Jericho's spending a lot of time in this submission already. It's only the second submission Brian's gone for, but he was in there for a very long time. The damage to Jericho's uh, neck and back has got to be building up pretty fast here as he escapes whatever hold Brian had in mind this time. And there's a hard kick to the back from Y2J. Jericho trying to swing the pendulum back another way with the reverse suplex to Daniel Bryan. And starting to do his own work on the back, surely setting up the walls of Jericho. And Bryan not wasting any time right into the abdominal stretch. Jericho hanging on, but he's taking a lot of damage early on. I'm sure he had no idea there was still going to be uh, bad blood between him and DDP. Of course, Jericho and Booker T are the tag team known as the Living Legends. And uh, they had their feud with Sting and DDP. And uh, as I said before, uh, we all thought the, you know, it had been settled, but apparently it's far from over. And that's it. Jericho cannot survive that attack from DDP. And there's the submission. Daniel Bryan goes one and nothing against Chris Jericho in this submission series. Let's take a look. This is the hold Bryan was using early on. Almost, you know, very similar to the yes lock, but a little simpler. Wraps the arm around the knee, rears back on the chin, and you see Jericho has no choice but to submit. There's another look, wraps it tight, holds the arm in the knee, and rears back on the chin, and Jericho lives, has to live to fight another day, has potentially uh, three more matches to win in this series. And of course, Jericho's not going to shake Brian's hand. Brian knows that DDP came out here and slung him head first into the steps, and cost Jericho this matchup. Ladies and gentlemen, this has been WWE 2K15 main event. I'm PWS Phil. Tune in Fridays for SmackDown, Mondays for Raw, and Wednesdays for WWE Main Event. Thanks for watching, everybody.